Celebrities in the basement, the place to be. Karen Wilder Martin on your TV. Politics, drama, music, sports, arts. Favorite celebs climbing the charts. First hand info on the live. Careers, next projects on the rise. Come visit Karen every week. Never know who's in the hot seat. Celebrities in the basement is the place. for Star Entertainment Group, and welcome to Celebrities in the Basement. Tonight we have Philadelphia native, actor turned director, <laughs> and a dear, dear friend of mine. Help me welcome Mr. Kevin Mack. Welcome, Thanks. Kevin. Thanks, yes. Kevin. Yes. I'm happy to be here. Oh, I'm happy to have you here. Well, let me congratulate you on your show. Thank you. Well, thank you're you. Doing great things. Yes. Thank it's, you. It's reaching out in the past for a lot of people. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's just start straight from the beginning. What made you have the acting club? I was always um, artistically inclined. Mm -hmm. um, as, a, as a young male, I wrote poetry, mm -hmm. and I always read a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I was the only student in the history of Edison High School mm -hmm. to get a scholarship to the Pennsylvania Governor's School of the Arts. Wonderful, um, wow. And I auditioned at Freedom Theater mm -hmm. when I was 15 years old. Alma mater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the first show was Why Do We Need a Title? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it just blossomed from there. Mm -hmm. Once I did it, I knew it was me. Okay, yes. Yeah. Now, you were born here in Philadelphia, born and raised here? I was born in the Richard Allen Project. Okay, yes. To the 11 C. Brown place. Wow, yeah. okay. Um, mm -hmm. Bill Cosby and, yes, yes. and um, lots of other folks were there. Mm -hmm. And then my family moved to 12th and Allegheny. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I, I was born and raised in North Philadelphia yes, my entire yes, life. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So... Now you're not living in Philadelphia, you're in Florida now. I moved to Gainesville, Florida. Wow. In April 2004. Met the love of my life. Aww. We got married in October 2005. You want to give her a shout out? Give a shout out to my baby Cassie. Cassie. I love you. Oh, <laughs> Thanks for letting me come home to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cassie, for allowing him to come to Philadelphia to tape for now, Celebrities in the Basement. Let's talk more yes, about family you. and how your celebrity status has changed the relationships. Has it changed at all the relationships between your family and your friends? When you first start out mm -hmm. in the theater, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's difficult because your family's not quite sure mm -hmm. what to expect yes. in, mm -hmm. in your life. Um, because you, you go through the period where you, your mom is saying, when are you going to get a real job? Yes. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. and, um, but then once you, you begin to apply your craft and mm -hmm. you're working, and yes. then your mom's on the phone calling everybody saying, my son's doing this show, you got to yes. go see it. So, yes. mm -hmm. you know, and, and everyone, of course, Loves a free ticket. Yes, uh-huh. Um, Love those comps. Yeah. And then <laughs> you, you, once you get to the point where you can get everyone to realize, this is what I do. Yes. To pay my bills. Yes. Then the whole thing falls in the line because then they love what you do mm -hmm. and they also respect it. Yes, yes, and they know? embrace it, yes. And they embrace it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, so a family and friends, it's, it's been a wonderful ride. Yes, yes, you are truly blessed, Kevin. Stay tuned, yeah. we'll be right back with more of Kevin Mack on Celebrities in the Basement on Channel 7 WWJT. Philly Collective, live at the Tritone, 15th and South Streets, Philadelphia, second and fourth Sunday of every month, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Philly Collective, featuring Cornell W. Rochester on drums, James Dennis on trumpets, and John Martin on bass. Philly Collective, live at the Tritone, second and fourth Sunday of every month. Philly Collective also features artists from jazz, gospel, R&B, spoken word, and hip-hop, the second and fourth Sunday of every month, live at the Tritone, 15th and South Streets, Philadelphia. Philly Collective, live at the Tritone, 15th and South Streets, Philadelphia, second and fourth Sunday of every month, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. 
Philly Collective featuring Cornell W. Rochester on drums, James Dennis on trumpets, and John Martin on bass. Philly Collective, live at the Tritone, second and fourth Sunday of every month. Come enjoy a Sunday evening of entertainment. Welcome back. I'm here with Kevin Mack. So, actor turned director. <laughs> and I know you from both aspects. I mean, we actually uh, worked on several mm -hmm. productions together, acting together, as well as you directed me in a few uh, theater productions. Do you remember your very first directing piece? My first main stage. Mm -hmm directing piece you were in. Oh, really? That was Ceremonies and Dark Old Men. That was not your first that time directing, Kevin. That was my Kevin. first main stage directing piece, wow. and no one knew. Everyone I, had assumed the cast that I had been know. directing for, yes, for a long time. Yes, because and, and you did really a phenomenal wasn't. job. What? You know, yeah, I had always, as an actor, mm -hmm. I had always envisioned mm -hmm. how I would be mm -hmm. as a director. Yes. You know, in, in terms of taking the, the tableau that the playwright has given yes. and, and putting my own vision on it and, and bringing it together. And I've always been able to look at that through an actor's prism. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when I got the opportunity to direct main stage, it was natural for me to approach it that it way so because natural. I knew how you all work yes. as actors. So yes. it was easy to bring the collaboration together, mm -hmm. which was why no one knew that was my first main stage production that I had ever directed. Well, not, I, I truly did not know that. I mm -hmm. thought you had been directing, and like I said, we'd done other acting. Yeah. Uh, phenomenal. Did you ever thought about doing that production again? I would love mm -hmm. to do Ceremonies mm -hmm. in Dark Old So Man. would I, yeah. yes. That's, so it was, would I. It's a wonderful piece. Mm -hmm. um, it never loses its message in, in, mm -hmm. in terms of time, because mm -hmm. especially in these economic times, yes, there yes. are... There are so many families, you know, that are that are struggling through the loss mm -hmm. of the loved one and, mm -hmm. and trying to plight their way and you know, and, and just the, the economy and, and the choices that we have to make mm -hmm. daily yes. to live. And mm -hmm. and I thought that Lonnie Elder had really, you know, just the way that he dug into that and, mm -hmm. and the challenges that their family went through. Yes, yes. You know, that's that's definitely mm -hmm. is one of my favorites. And don't be surprised. Okay. Philadelphia. Yes. It may be coming back okay. soon. Okay. Right. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm going be into surprised. television, taking your directing to TV or film. Well, you know, there, film and television, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, film and the, the, and the theater stage are two totally different disciplines. Yes, that is and true. Mm -hmm. It would be easy to go and, and seek the commercial mm -hmm. success, mm -hmm. it attaches easier with the um, with television and, and the screen work. Mm -hmm. But there's, to me, as, as an artist, there's a majesty that comes with working on the stage mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the opportunity to bring something new to life every different, every night. Yes, and, yes. And the opportunity to see what challenges come because it's never the same. Never. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Inspiration mm -hmm. leads you in a different way. Mm -hmm. um, your fellow artists bring something new every night mm -hmm. to the process, and and it's that living, breathing organism, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. That I'm a theater baby, and I'm I'm yes. always going to yes. be that. Plus, that instant gratification that you get from a live audience every Absolutely. night. Yes, and every night is different. Mm -hmm. Every night is different. You know, and having the opportunity to just right back with more of Kevin Mack on Celebrities in the Basement on Channel 7 WWJT.